Hello YouTube world, MagDaddy1911 here with the Shade Tree Survivalists. Well, because I'm on the night shift now, I set up last night and I had to do something to keep me from going haywire. And I decided to draw a North American F-86 Sabre. This is a United States Air Force example at the beginning of the Korean War. It was, uh, wasn't quite as good in some ways as the MiG-15, the Soviet-built MiG-15 of the same era. Um, but in some ways it was a better aircraft. With a light shining on, it's messing up. But this has always been one of my favorite aircraft. I saw movies that was made in the 70s. I think it was The Last Race or The Last Chase. And it had uh, Steve Austin, not Steve Austin, Lee Majors was the guy's name. Steve Austin was the $6 million man. <laughs> Which, by the way, they're doing a reboot with Mark Wahlberg. I cannot wait to see it. But it starred Lee Majors and Mr. Burgess Meredith, who was flying an aircraft like this. And it was a, a uh, post-apocalyptic future where the gas ran out and the only place in the world that had gas was california we know that's a load of horse shit but anywho there that one is and the second drawing i did um it was actually of an aerial refueling of a b-52 in the late 50s or early 60s and it had two hound dog air to surface nuclear missiles on pylons and you can see the one on the left i had to erase it 15 different times and keep moving it moving it moving it so it would be in line with the cockpit and that and the, the fuselage of the aircraft and this in here is still a little bit outboard but i was satisfied with that um yeah this is i i was just tinkering with it and that was the original drawing and it was way out of whack I may go in and try it again, but um, I think the uh, engines and all and the missile is a little better on this one, but that was the ultimate drawing. I went back and just started completely over with. But my brother, he keeps throwing up these awesome pictures, and I'm like, by God, I ain't chopped liver. I'm going to sock it to it. Um, generally, when I draw an aircraft or a vehicle or a firearm, it is from this perspective, and that's to be 25 full frame i'm holding the camera this or the phone this time so i can get it all into full frame but that's generally how i draw them from the side the same thing with the uh the 1911 and then the first one that i drew on printer paper and the darn cat got on it and he had a bloody foot and you can see it right there but it was it was way out of whack right here it was actually better in here than the second one right there but i was like what the heck and i was trying out color uh, art pencils not necessarily color pencils but the art pencils and their charcoal and stuff and just playing around learning how to do it um and then of course the b25 mitchell and the boeing but so far the one i like the best is the saber F-86 Sabre. That was just a Cadillac in its day. It was a beautiful, beautiful aircraft. And, um, yeah, just awesome. So much more beautiful than so many other aircraft. Um, I'm hoping that Uncle Fester approves the cockpit was off by a little bit, and he said it wasn't lining up with the tail fin, so it may not still be up to his snuff, but, um, and maybe then right here in front of the cockpit's just off a of caddywampus. I don't know. It's very hard aircraft, or it's very hard for me to draw one from this aspect. But I thought, what the hell? You guys might get a kick out of this. I love the F-86 Sabre. It was one of the all-time classic jet fighters. It was uh, beautifully built, just so streamlined and just so beautiful. North American was a great company. They're the same ones that built the P-51 mustang and many others um but anywho there you go guys that's what i've been up to um still on just on my cell phone i, I just uh there's not much i can do about it uh until we get internet access but anywho i hope you guys enjoy the video get something out of it
and we'll, there will be many more videos coming. You guys just, uh, you know, give me a little bit of a chance to get settled into this new job on this new shift and um, get our internet going again, and then we'll uh, socket to it. But y'all be good. Take care of yourselves. Mac Daddy signing off.